What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back in our Let's Play Town Hall 9 account and we're going to be talking about War Attacks today. We're going to be breaking down the basics of War Attacks and help you understand how to attack a base, why you should be doing certain things, certain terms you might hear people saying and why people are doing certain things because I've kind of noticed in the new Town Hall 9 clear irritated ram, I've noticed that some people like know an army to use but they don't really understand what they're doing with that army or why they're doing certain things or maybe they're just spamming in like Lunian and not even worrying about like clan castle troops and that's a little bit of a problem there's no clan castle troops in these clan and this clan but we're gonna pretend like there is for the sake of this video uh, because I want to kind of break down the basics of war attacks help you guys understand and become better attackers in war especially at Town Hall 9 moving up Town Hall 9 you should really start learning how to do a proper war attack in my opinion so that's what we're going to be doing today and speaking of irritated ram i will let you guys know i'll open that occasionally like when we get five to ten spots open i'm not going to open it every single time we get one person open and what i'll do is i'll generally post in the community tab or in a video a new password and that's how you get in and then i'll delete it once it's full so that's what we're going to be doing today but before we hop into the attacks let's do today's comment question of the day coming from Kristan merits hopefully i didn't butcher your name too bad comment question of the day what's your favorite dark elixir troop hog riders i just love hog rider attacks oh there's so much fun definitely one of my favorite troops in the game overall if you guys want to submit your own comment question of the day cq otd down there in the comments and you'll have a chance to be featured in a video so speaking of hog riders we're going to be doing a hog rider attack on this base now why are we doing that hog rider attack on this base so when you're doing hogs or even like balloons and you're doing a little bit of a kill squad something you always want to keep in mind is the objectives with your kill squad we're going to be doing a small kill squad here uh where we're going to have a couple golems we're going to have a few wizards in there we're going to have bowlers in our clan castle and a jump spell and our heroes so what are we going to be trying to do with that kill squad what is a kill squad the kill squad is going to be basically the first phase of your attack there's multi-phase attacks where you go in with the kill squad and then you bring in like hogs or balloons behind the first phase of our attack is going to be our kill squad and what we're going to be trying to accomplish with this kill squad for our hogs is we're going to be trying to take out the enemy queen we're going to be trying to get out the clan castle troops again there's no clan castle troops so we're going to simulate said clan castle troops and then we're going to try to get out as many defenses as possible i love if you can go in somewhere where you can get out a bomb tower at town hall nine and even a couple wizard towers it's incredible if you can get to the enemy king and a bow that's extra but always 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 number one priority has to be the queen and clan castle troops you cannot leave those up during a hog attack even a balloon attack because they'll just chase down your hogs and balloons while they're you know taking out defenses so you want to make sure you get that kind of stuff down before you go in okay great we have our kill squad identified like what we need to do with our kill squad now how are we going to execute that if you notice we have two golems seven wizards four wall breakers uh five bowlers we're going to use the rage and jump on our kill squad and poison if we have to we don't have to for the clan castle but i'm going to bring the poison for the heroes and any skeletons that pop up so what we're going to do is we're going to funnel on the base now what is a funnel a funnel is when you try to literally make like a funnel a funneling effect so the troops are going to go up into the base how we're going to achieve this is we're going to put one of our golems in like over here so it's going to probably you know beat on the wall somewhere here and then we'll use the wizards we would clear out anything in this area uh this archer tower is not going to be a big deal because nothing should walk over there and then what we're going to do is we're going to go our other golem you see that funneling process our other golem right in here and then a few wizards to take out these outside buildings now we're going to have to act quickly because this enemy queen is going to step up and start shooting our golems so we're going to try to act quickly we need this bomb tower on one of our golems that way we can use our wall breakers to get in here when you're doing wall breakers try to do one first and then do the rest of your wall breakers so that if there is bombs or a giant bomb or something there uh the wall breakers aren't going to all die at once so we're going to go ahead get the funnel set with our golems our wizards and then once that funnel is set and we have those buildings taken out we're going to go with our heroes up the middle that's that that's a funny looking arrow right there we're going to go with our heroes up the middle uh in here with our clan castle bowlers and then we're going to jump right in here notice that this compartment kind of goes up to here this compartment ends right here so we're going to jump right in here this is going to open up the, these two compartments and also open up the expo compartments that way we can get more access to the base we are going to be raging up the kill squad uh, so that we can get in there now be aware that when you are doing this be aware of that clan castle radius so we would see like once 
really, once this golem over here comes in, it would pull out the clan castle. So maybe we want to start with the golem over here first so that clan castle doesn't come out right away. And we can set the funnel over here. And then we could bring in that other golem. And then what you want to do is poison that clan castle right away. So that's our kill squad. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go in there. We're going to take out those objectives. We're going to get that queen out. We're going to get that bomb tower out. We're going to get that clan castle troop, uh, troops out if there was clan castle troops. Then what? Well, then we have 24 hog riders and two heal spells for said hog riders. We're going to bring them... On a base like this, it doesn't generally matter too much, but you want to kind of identify any potential giant bomb spots. Odds are there's Teslas here, 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 and here. Those could also be giant bombs, but usually on a base like this, they're usually Teslas. You could also be aware that there can be spring traps in these little openings right here. You got to be aware of that. Spring traps potentially in here. So be aware of that type of stuff, but it seems like most likely... Giant bombs could be on the outside of this base, which is going to be great for our hogs. Whenever you're using hogs, identify where those giant bomb spots are. And that's why I selected hogs for this base, because on the interior of this base, there's not a lot of spots for the, the giant bombs to be in there to mess with our hogs. And then we can also, what I try to do with hogs with a small kill squad, is I try to take out like a quarter of the base with the kill squad. And that's what we're going to be doing. This is all the kill squad. You know, this will all be taken out here. And then we have a nice L shape for the hogs to kind of work around the base. Now you notice, uh, well, maybe what about balloons or what about something else? The air defenses are a little bit offset on this one. We could probably make Kill Squad Lalo work. But even with Kill Squad Lalo, you want to take out that enemy queen. So I'm going to go with hogs on this one. I love Town Hall 9 Go Hobo. One of my favorite Town Hall 9 attacks. And I feel like it's one of the best Town Hall 9 attacks in general. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to hit this base. Uh, I did Hero Potion and Power Potion just for the sake of... Uh, you know using those we don't need the power potion for all this but for the next attack which we're going to do a kill squad lalo we do need the power potion because my hounds are only level one and my hastes are only level one so let's go ahead and let's get in here let's get the attack now remember remember what we talked about here guys that clan castle if there was clan castle troops there's not but we're going to pretend there was we want to bring this golem in first we're going to put one wizard here one wizard there and then we want to act fast remember all that stuff's going to come in here we're going to go one uh one wall breaker there notice we don't wall breaker fail get all this working in and try to save clan castle troops if you can or not clan castle troops cleanup troops if you can being those wizards if you can save a couple wizards you want to save those for when your hogs are done so we jump into those compartments that we open up we're going to rage through here we're going to simulate that there's clan castle troops and we'll poison the where those clan castle troops were we'll simulate that you know and we're working deep into the base and look at this the enemy king's going to go down anytime you can get the enemy king down it's going to be great now what i like to do is try to start the hogs while your kill squad is still going there so we're going to bring in our hogs here we're going to throw in our first heal uh, because we did catch a little bit of a bomb there on the outside, but that's not a big deal. Sprinkle the hogs in. Our heroes, are, our kill squad is just doing a ton of work there. Uh, and then we'll keep everything working through here. Try not to catch another giant bomb there, hoggies. And we will heal up this last little area right here since the kill squad pretty much has everything else in. And then try to get your cleanup in pretty fast. We'll hit the queen's ability there. We'll go ahead and hit our wizards right there and you know what we would do is we would poison any skeletons that came out but uh there was no ground skeletons that mess with our hogs now what could be an issue with our cleanup here is that we only hit what one giant bomb so hopefully we don't catch a lot of giant bombs with these hogs or we could be in a little bit of a pickle but i think we should be fine we still have our queen up we still have wizards up we still have minions up for cleanup i think that we'll be fine as far as cleanup goes uh, and we got plenty of time. That's also a nice thing. One thing to keep in mind is corner huts. I didn't do a great job on this base of identifying the corner huts. I could have dropped a minion for a couple of archers to take out those corner huts. But I didn't do a great job of identifying that. But you see there, everything went to plan. Everything went well. Yes, this was easier because there was no clan castle troops. But I wanted to get this video out for you guys and kind of get some examples, especially for the guys here in Irritated Bram. That way they can kind of understand like the thinking behind war attacks and that kind of stuff. But, you know, poison them right on that clan castle troops as soon as they're coming out. Get them taken out. 
rage up that kill squad and there you go you get a three star so next we're going to talk about a kill squad lalo attack all right guys so now we're going to go with some kill squad lalo some gobo lalo so same thing with the kill squad uh pretty much the same essential things that you want to get out with the kill squad the enemy clan castle the enemy queen with a lalo you're usually going to try to get out one to two air defenses with us we're going to try to get out two air defenses might be a little bit ambitious for what we're doing but i think we should be able to get those up and also if you can get out a sweeper and a bow that's always going to be great so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming in obviously from this area over here like right in here you can see that's where most of our objectives are so that's where we're going to be coming in again there's no clan castle on this one but we're going to simulate that there is a clan castle so since that clan castle is like that we're going to start our funnel right over here we're going to have two golems on this three wizards uh three wizards is really really slim you could even try to bump that up but i like having a little bit more balloons in here we're going heavy on the hounds i try to go one hound per remaining air defense and we're going to have two remaining air defenses up after our kill squad so we're going to want two hounds for that so we're going to go one golem right there i'm going to put one wizard there one wizard there just to set the funnel and then our other golem is going to come in here and we're going to put one wizard right in here we're going to wall breaker in really quickly here and then send in our heroes and everything else right up the center uh we'll poison you know the clan castle the queen as they're coming out we might even come more straight on with this golem and then what we'll do is we'll kind of jump in here which will open up all these compartments and we'll have a nice good access now you'll notice our spells we have one rage one jump one heal three three haste and a poison now on this attack you can use that the heal on the balloons or the kill squad what we're going to do is we're going to use it on the kill squad we're going to rage up the kill squad probably about in there but we're also going to heal the kill squad to keep those bowlers alive that way we can get more value and make sure we get out those two air defenses because we want to make sure we get that huge value because after we do our kill squad we're going to come in and mostly most likely like all the stuff over here is going to be left up so what we're going to do is we're going to bring in one hound right here we're going to bring in another hound from about right there behind the hound we're going to go like three balloons three balloons and then more balloons following the following hounds through the base and we're just going to move those balloons and hounds through the base with those hastes and that should be pretty good because this sweeper is going to be pointing out this way this sweeper should be down there's no reason that sh sweeper shouldn't be down so we should have pretty nice pathing for our lalo and now why do we choose this base for lalo over like hogs yes we could definitely hog this base uh we could absolutely hog this base there's a little bit more spots where there could be giant bombs odds are teslas are in the core uh usually in a base like this teslas are near the core uh but there's there's a few spots where there could be giant bombs you know in front of these wizard towers around over here just more spots for potential giant bombs so i we could probably get away with hogging it but i also wanted to show off some lalo so we're gonna go ahead hop in here and hopefully you guys kind of understand that and you'll see it in action hopefully it makes sense and hopefully we don't botch it too much now we did need the power potion for this one because uh, our hastes and our hounds are level one and i wanted to make sure we had uh as much po firepower as possible so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go in guys now remember we're slim on wizards so we need to make those wizards count we're gonna go one wizard right in there actually we're just gonna start with one wizard and then we're gonna go one wizard there one wizard there i'm gonna put the king in we'll have that simulated poison right there we'll go ahead and wall breaker right here i kind of messed up you don't want to put all your wall breakers in at once you want to go one at a time just in case they do fail uh we'll make sure that's all taken out there's one of those giant bomb spots that i kind of talked about we'll go ahead and rage right there or not heal, rage jump right there we'll rage through this compartment and then we're going to be really really nice through here you see those uh bowlers taking a little bit of damage and that's where we're going to heal them up that way they can get further into that base there's that air sweeper going down we got both the air defenses going down we're getting some nice value through the core of this base and we can go ahead and we can start our lalo phase everything else is going to be fine try to keep an eye on your queen in this situation but we're able to start our lalo now so let's go ahead bring in like that we'll come in through here bring these guys all in get all of our balloons working i'm going to haste up here just keep them going through the base now we do want to get our cleanup in because we don't have much cleanup so we want to get the cleanup in working through the base I'm going to use that last haste to move these balloons right down through here. 
Still get our hounds up. We're still looking nice. And we look like we should be able to triple this, guys. So we have an unpopped hound, which is a little bit of an issue on this. Uh, because we don't bring a lot of cleanup. But with this base being a little bit of a weaker base, we should be fine. Always keep an eye out for corner huts when you're putting in your final cleanup. And that's going to be it, guys. Nice, easy kill squad lava. Cleaning it up. And this is a pretty common base design for newer Town Hall 9s. You'll see this a lot. Uh, for lower nines, new nines, and you can just smoke it with a little bit of a kill squad lalo. You don't need a ton of balloons to be successful, and you just go right in there and clean it all up and absolutely destroy the base. So hopefully, we've taught you a little bit today about how to execute an attack, how to funnel your troops in there, how to set that funnel. Go go a little bit wider with those golems. Use those wizards on the outside there and let them you know clear out and then send those heroes in. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this of me breaking down attacks and breaking down bases with more skilled attacks and more, you know, in-depth analysis. Witch Slap is going to be great for almost any Town Hall 9, but sometimes there's a little bit of a luck factor with Witch Slap. That's why I kind of prefer my Kill Squad, like Hobo, my Kill Squad, Gobo, Lalo type attacks, uh, because you can control those just a little bit more. But hopefully you guys have learned a little bit today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.